everyone and uh, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Oma. Today I'm going to make chicken noodle soup, which I have been making for a long, long time. My family loves it and it's good for you. In the cold weather, it warms your heart and soul. So I hope you like it. And the ingredients for the soup are that the way I make it. It's a, this is a little chicken. It was a whole chicken. My butcher, I went to a butcher shop and they cut it up for me. I used to cut it up myself, but not now anymore, uh, since I had my 89th birthday. Mm -hmm. I have a whole onion here, ch chopped up, just uh, chunks. Three carrots, small pieces, about an inch. Or two stalks of celery, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Some people put garlic in the soup, but I just use the garlic powder. And then I have a chicken cube that I'm going to put in when the soup is boiling. It just enhances the flavor a little bit. And then I have the noodles here. This is four cups of very fine noodles. This is how it looks. And this is our favorites, but then there are different noodles. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but it should be noodles. It tastes the best. Now let's get started. I put the chicken in a big pot Covered it completely with cold water, put the stove on high, put the cover on, let it come to a boil. The chicken is boiling and there is uh, some, some foam coming up on the top, which I'm going to take off. And the reason for that is, so the soup will be nice and clear. If I don't do this, the soup uh, wouldn't really taste it, but... Uh, it would be not as nice as clear as it should be. Very particular. It's a little bit of a fiddly job, but it's okay. You have to have patience. And now I'm going to put the vegetables in. And I'm going to give it a little stir. I have a little chicken cube here, which enhances the flavor a little bit. You don't have to put it in, but I just, uh, so I just crumble it in, put the spices on, a little salt, garlic powder, just sprinkle it on, black pepper, pepper we put a little more on. and some celery seeds. I know we put celery in, but somehow the seeds just... Uh... Now I'm going to put the lid back on, and uh, the temperature is on high now, and we'll leave it on high for now, but we'll check it occasionally, and if it's boiling too hard, then we'll turn it down a little bit. And after an hour, Soup is done for tasting. The water for the noodles is boiling, so I'm going to put my noodles in. Take my wooden spoon, give it a good stir, wait till it comes to another boil. It doesn't take too long to, for these noodles to be cooked, because they are so uh, fine. Okay, the soup is done. We just have to put it together and uh, my son is going to help me. Okay. Good job. So put it there. Now we are here. Oops. <laughs> we need that. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is take the carrots out. And I'm going to put that in the soup, and then it's time to taste. Can't wait. Mm. Some people love more carrots, some not. But uh, I have some of my family, they love lots. Okay. So you put the noodles in the bowl as opposed to in with this? Yes, I do it like this because some people like lots of noodles. Some not so bad. So if you do it this way, then you can 
suit your taste. That's good. That's good. Thank Very you. Awesome. Yummy! So delicious, Mom. <laughs> I'm wow. so happy, son. Now, until I see you again, thank you for watching Cooking with Oma. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Wow, this is... It's like medicine. <laughs> hmm. Once the stoop starts... Soup, not stoop. Once the stoop... Once the soup starts to... <laughs>